just like me, I think my son has always struggled with confidence um, and just a little bit of self-doubt, which I think it's healthy to have some of that. But then you also, um, you want to give your kid a chance to shine at something. And I can tell you that being a part of the Carriage Place players and specifically under John's leadership, uh, he really finds what is special about a kid and makes them shine. We live um, in a suburb that's very, very tiny, and we love our suburb. But by being in a larger metropolitan area and being involved with other folks from other communities, we wanted to make friendships with people outside of our little bubble. That whole idea of being exposed to people who don't live in our community was a big draw for me. Uh, because I think that it's important to meet people outside of your comfort zone. We've got folks that are trans folks, we've got people on the autism spectrum, there are folks with Down syndrome, everybody is invited to participate in this. And like I said, it's a family. I can't think of any other opportunity where my kid would be able to make friendships without us you know, having those obstacles in front of you. Instead, it's, it's not so-and-so with autism, it's the kid playing, you know, little boy blue. We wanna make sure that every child no matter where you live, if you're on the north side of town or if you're on the south side of town, you have the opportunity to experience the wonderful passion that is the creative arts. This is a place where numbers are made. They're not made. You have to dig for them. My favorite thing about doing a play is making new friends. You know, you spend so much time with each other that you take care of each other and um, you, you trust people in a way that is unlike anything else I've ever seen. They took him under their wing and um, we've created these friendships and partnerships with people that are just invaluable. You can't, you can't replicate it anywhere else. There's such generosity and care and feeling behind putting a big show together on a very small budget um, and including everyone and everyone working towards the same goal. It just was something that I had not seen. So the programs that we have in our, our department throughout recreation and parks, whether it be solving issues of hunger, solving access to creative arts programming, to sports programming, all of these things are not only important to us as recreation and parks professionals, but we see this as a benefit to elevate health and wellness throughout Central Ohio. To sit down and have my son say, you know, Mom, I don't think you really did that right. And for me to say, oh, you know what? You're right, I didn't. And that doesn't happen very often as a parent. You, I mean you don't get that kind of feedback and have those kinds of conversations. And this has just opened up a lot of doors for us to communicate. It's opened up so many friendships. It's just such a wonderful resource. And I, I'm selfish in that. I want everybody to know about it, but I also want to make sure that it stays as special as, as it is. So you know how that goes.